Talmud Bavli Gmar Brachot, Perk Shlishi Daf Kaf, sorry, Kaf He Amud Bet, uh, Chapter 3, page 25b. The Hacha Betofea Halmenat Lehat Piach Ika Benayehu. And here it's a question of whether the urine is prohibited uh, and because it's able to moisten things so that. Uh, so that this moistening is uh, is an issue between the Tanakama and Rabbi Yossi. Yarad litbo im yacholalot chule. He descended to him to immerse himself. This is from the Mishnah in the Mikvah. And uh, so the the time for Shema arrived, and if he has the time to im uh, yacholalot, if he has the time able to ascend. Lema Tanasatma de Rabbi Eliezer, shall we say that Rabbi has taught an anonymous ruling in accordance with Rabbi Eliezer? De Ama ad Hane Tachama, saying that the Shema is only until sunrise. A fidel temo, Rabbi Yosho, you can even say that uh, the mission is with Rabbi Yosho, um, that the Shema can be recited until the end of three hours. The deal me kavatikin as uh, perhaps like the uh, and maybe the mission is talking about like the vatikin the devoted ones. The Amar Rabbi Yochanan Rabbi Yochanan said, "Vatikin hayu gomri nata im hanet hachama." The devoted ones would finish the saying Shema with the rising of the sun. The im la vit kase b'mayim veikra, and if he does not. Uh, that is, if he does not have time to get out of the mikvah and say Shema, he should cover himself with water and recite and recite Shema. Vehareli boroet ha'erva, but his heart sees the nakedness. Um, so how can he recite Shema? Ami Rabbi Lazar, Rabbi Lazar said, Ve'iteme Rabbi Yacha bar Abba bar Acha. Others say it was Rabbi Yacha bar Abba bar Acha. Mishum Rabbeinu, in the name of our master. Ba'mai machurin shanu, the Mishnah refers to cloudy waters. Didamu ka'ara simichta, similar to thick ground. Shelo yire libo ervato, so that his heart does not see his naked. Tanu Rabbanan, the rabbis taught in the Baraisa, Maim Tselulin, regarding clear water, Yeshev Vahen Ad Tzavarove Kore, he may sit in them up to his neck and recite Shema, the Yeshomi Mokran Bar Beraglo, others say he must cloud the waters first with his feet, the Tan, that's, uh, you can churn the waters up and make it cloudy, the Tanakama, but how does the Tanakama allow this? Without first clouding, because his heart sees the nakedness. Uh, he holds that the Shema, uh, so one's heart sees the nakedness, is permitted. But why his heel sees his nakedness? He holds that Saint Shema, while one's heel sees nakedness, is permitted. Itmar, it was said, Saint Shema, with one's heel, when one's heel sees nakedness, is permitted. Nogea, the heel touches, um, touches nakedness. Abaye Amar Asur, Abaye says it's forbidden to say Shema. But Rava Amar Mutar, Rava says it's permitted to say Shema. Rav Zavid Matni Lalaha Shamata Hachi. Thus, um, did Rav Zavid teach this discussion between Abay and Rav? Rav Chinana Bere de Rav Ika Matni Lahachi. Rav Chinana, the son of Rav Ika, teaches it as follows. Nogea, the hill touches nakedness. Divre Hakol Asur, the opinion of all. Um, that one is forbidden to say Shema, Ro'e, um, if it merely sees nakedness, Abaye Ram Amar Asur, Rabbi says it's forbidden to say Shema, Rava Amar Muta, Rava says permitted, Lo Nitna Torah le Malachi Hasharet, Torah was not given to the, because the Torah was not given 
to the ministering angels. The minister, Rashi says the ministering angels don't have an erva. The Hilchata, the Halacha is, Nogea Asur, um, saying Shmo when the hill touches nakedness is forbidden, Ro'e Mutar, um, and merely seeing nakedness, it is permitted to say Shma. Amarava, Rava said, Toa Ba'ashashit, when excrement is in a transparent material, Mutar, Likrot Kriyat Shma Kenegda, it's permitted to recite Shma opposite it. Uh, erva ba'ashashit, but nakedness in a transparent material. Asur likrot kriyat shma kenegda is forbidden to recite, recite shma opposite it. So a uh, ba'ashashit muta likrot kriyat shma kenegda, excrement in a transparent material is permitted to recite shma opposite. De toa bechisui talia milta, because when saying shma, excrement, um, the, it's all about covering the excrement. Vaha mikasya, and indeed excrement, is covered by the transparent material. And so you can say shma. Erva ba'ashashita soli krot kriyat shma kenegda. Nakedness in the transparent material is forbidden to recite shma opposite. Velo yire vecha ervatava amarachmana. Because, and he shall not see in you a matter of nakedness. This is from Tvarim 23, verse 15. Um, so the merciful one has said, Vaha uh, kamitach zia, and indeed nakedness is vi- is visible um, with, when covered with a transparent material, and therefore shma is forbidden. Amar Abayi said, Tzua koshehu, uh, a minute amount of excrement present, mevatla berok, one can nullify it with, um, by spitting on it. Amarava, Rava said, uverok ave, and uh, this is only if it's very thick spit. Amarava, Rava said, so abeguma, excrement in a hole in the ground, maniach sandlo, aleha ve kore kriyashma, you can put your sandal on top of the hole and say Shema. Ba'a mar bere da Ravina, mar the son of Ravina, inquired, Tsua divuka be sandlo mai. When excrement is pressed against his sandal, what is the law? Teku, so let it stand unresolved. Ama Ravioda, Ravioda said, Ove kochavim arum asur likro kriyat shma kenegdo is forbidden to recite shma opposite a naked idolater. Mai iria oved kochavim. So why mention idolater in this ruling? Afilu Israel nami, even if it is a Jew, it's also forbidden to say uh, shma, a naked Jew. Israel pshia le de asur. For a Jew, it is clear to Rav Yehuda, it is forbidden to say sh- to say Shema next to such a person. Ela Oved Kochavim Itzdrichale, but an idolater was necessary for him to teach. Mahu de Tema, you might have said, Ho Ilochtiv, Behu Asher Besar Hamorim Besaram, since it is written concerning whose flesh is the flesh of donkeys. That's from Yechezkel 23, verse 20. Say that the naked idolater is like a mere donkey um, regarding reciting words of Torah next to him. Kamash Malan, Rav Yehuda informs us that it is uh, forbidden. Dinehu nami ikru erva, and for non Jews too, uh, nakedness, this is called nakedness according to the Torah. Dirtiv the ervata vihem lo ra'u for it's written, and the nakedness of their father they did not see. This is in uh, Bereshit uh, 9 verse 23, talking about Noah, who was in fact not a Jew. I'm just going to scroll down. We're about halfway down the page on the screen. We're at uh, we just at these two dots here at Lo Ra'u, and we're going to be starting Lloyd the Lloyd Kase. So 
So now a new part of the Mishnah. Veloidka says one should not cover himself. Loba maim haraim, veloba maim hamishra. Neither in putrid waters nor in steep waters. Um, steep, steeping waters are water which is um, foul, used for uh, soaking flax or canvas. Until he pours into them clean water. How much water will go? Uh, will be poured in? Run. This is what the Mishnah meant to say. One should not cover himself neither in putrid waters nor in the steeping waters altogether, because it's impossible to add enough clean water to nullify. The odor, or may raglayim. So where it's a vessel containing a small amount of urine, ad shiatila tochan mayim until he pours into a clean water vaykra, uh, and after that he can say shma. Tana rabbanan the rabbis taught kama yatila tochan mayim. How much water must he pour into it? Kol shehu any amount, even the small amount. Rabbi Zakai Omer, Rabbi Zakai says, Revi it, he says to pour in a Revi it, uh, which is uh, about three, uh, around three to five ounces of water. Amar Rav Nachman, Rav Nachman said, Machaloket Levasov, there is dis- dispute between the Tanakama and Rabbi Zakai. Um, in regard to uh, water put in afterwards, because that Rabbi Zaka requires a Rabbi Yit. Aval but kol shehen, but if the water is in first and then the urine comes in afterwards, so batchila, so if it's water first. Even Rab, Rabbi Zaka says any amount of water is allowable to neutralize the urine. But Rav Yosef Amar, Rav Yosef says, Machaloket lechatchila. The dispute is between there is a dispute between Tanakama and Rabbi Zaka um, about water being in there first. First, aval levasofti rehakol reviyit. But if water comes in afterwards, everyone agrees that a reviyit. Is necessary. Amale Rav Yosef le Shamaye. Rav Yosef said to his attendant, "Aiti li revita demaya ke Rabbi Zakai. Bring me revita water in accordance with Rabbi Zakai." Tan Rabbanan Rabbis taught in a brisa: "Grass shall reiv avit shall me raglayim a chamber pot for excrement or a chamber pot for urine if it's present." Asuli Krokriat Shema Kenegdan, it's forbidden to say Shema next to them. The Alf Al Pisha Engba Henklum, even though there is nothing in them, or May Raglai Matsman, and in about specifically about urine, it is forbidden to say Shema. Ay Chiatilla Tochan Maim, until one pours water into it. The Chama Yatilla Tochan Maim, how much water can be should be poured into it? Kol shehu, any amount is allowed. Rabbi Zakai Amer, Revi it. So Rabbi Zakai again says a Revi it is required. Ben lifne hamita ben lachar hamita. So whether, uh, so this is a problem of whether it's in front of your bed uh, or whether it's behind the bed. Rabban Shimon ben Gamliel Amer, lachar hamita kore. So if it's in a container behind the bed, one can say the Shema, because the bed is like a petition. Lifnei hamita eno kare, and if it's in front of the bed, one may not recite Shema. Aval marchik hu arba amot kare, but he must move away for amot and then recite Shema. Rabbi Shimon ben Elazar Omer, Rabbi Shimon ben Elazar says, Afilu beit me'ah ama, even in a house with an area of a hundred amot, Loikra achiotim o ye she yanichem tachatamita. One may not recite shrine until he removes the chamber pot from the house or or puts it under the bed. Ibaya lehul, they inquired, hey, kama, what does he mean to say? 
Achar hamita koremiad when it's behind the bed he marries Sachma immediately. Lifne hamita marchita ba mot ve kore. If it's in front of the bed he must move away for a mot and then resachma. Oh, Dilma Hachikama, or perhaps the following is what he meant to say. La Achar Amita Machikar Ba Amot Le Kore. If it's the container is behind the bed, he must move away for Amot and then recite Shma. Lifne Hamita Eno Kore Klal. And if it's in front of the bed, he cannot recite Shma at all. A resolution. Tashma, come learn. Detanya was taught in a brisa. Rabbi Shimon ben Elazar Omer, Rabbi Shimon ben Elazar says, Achar hamita koremiyad. Uh, when it's behind the bed, one can recite Shema immediately. Lifnei hamita marchik arba, arba amot, in front of the bed, he must move away for amot and then recite Shema. Rabbi Shimon ben Gamliel Omer, Rabbi Shimon ben Gamliel says, Afilo bait me'a ama, even in a house with an area of 100 amot, Lo yikra ad shiotim o shianichim tachatimita. One man or recite shema until he removes them from the house or until he puts them under the bed. Be bayan if she talan. Sorry, inquiry has been resolved for us. Matniyata kashyan ahadate. The two races contradict each other. Um between Rabbi Shimon ben Gamil and Rabbi, Rabbi, Rabbi Shimon ben Elazar. Epoch Batraita reverse the um, the attribute to the later Baraisa uh, so that the later Baraisa is changed to that Rabbi Shimon ben Gamil holds the first U and Rabbi Shimon ben Elazar holds the second U. Machazit da'apacht but Traita, so what do you see that makes you reverse uh, these Baraisas? A poor Kamyata, so why not just reverse the attribute of the first Baraisa? Man Shamat Le Da Amar Kule Beit Ka'arba Amot Dame, whom have you heard that he says the entire house? Is uh, uh, is for Amot. Rabbi Shimon ben Elazar here, it is the view of Rabbi Shimon ben Elazar. Amar Rav Yosef, Rav Yosef said, Ba'aye, Ba'imine, Merahuna, I inquired of Rav Huna as well as, Mita pachot mishlosha, a bed less than three tefachim high, Pshita li dichlavud dame, it is clear to me, that it, that is the underside of the bed, is uh, that it extends all the way to the ground, and therefore if the, the chamber pot is underneath, it's completely enveloped by the bed. <coughs> what is the law about a bed that is three, four, five, six, seven, eight, or nine tefachim high? Amali Rav Huna replied to me, Lo Yadana, I do not know. Asaravadai lomi baili. So a bed that is ten tefachim high was certainly not a matter of inquiry for me. Amar Abaye Abaye said, Shapir avarata de lo ibayala. He did well by not inquiring about a bed that high. Kol asara reshuta achriti he. Anything that is ten tefachim high is considered a separate domain. And therefore, it's not enveloping the chamber pot. Amar Rava, Rava said, Hilchetapachot mishlosha kilavud dame. The halacha is, if the bed is less than three tefachim high, it is considered as extending to the ground and covering the pot. Asara reshuta achritihi. If it's ten tefachim high, it is deemed a separate domain, like what Abaye said. Mishlosha ad asara, between three and ten tefachim. This is what Rav Yosef inquired of Rav Huna. And Rav Huna did not resolve it for him. Amar Rav, Rav said, Halacha ka Rabbi Shimon ben Elazar. The Halacha follows Rabbi Shimon ben Elazar. Um, meaning that the Shema cannot be recited in the whole house. 
if the exposed chamber pot is present. Ali and so too did Bali say in the name of Rabbi Yaakov, the son of Shmuel's daughter, Halacha ka Rabbi Shimon ben Elazar, the Halacha follows Rabbi Shimon ben Elazar, where Rabbi Amar Rabbi says, Ein Halacha ka Rabbi Shimon ben Elazar, the Halacha does not follow Rabbi, follow Rabbi Shimon ben Elazar. Rabbi Chai Iyasak lei livrei be Rav Yitzak bar Shmuel bar Mata, Ravachai arranged to match his son with Rav Yitzhak bar Shmuel ben bar Mata. I lay lechupa. Ravachai led his son to the bridal chamber. Belohava mistaya milta, but the matter was not successful. Azalba trailer ayune. Ravachai went in after him to investigate. Chaza sefer Torah demancha. He saw a Torah scroll lying there in the room. Amar lehu, he said to them, Iku hashda lo atayi saka netun livri. If now I had not come, you would have endangered the life of my son. Detanya, for it was taught in a brisa, Baiche yesh bosh sefer Torah o tfilina su l'shamesh bo et hamita in a house that contains a Torah scroll or tfilin. One is forbidden to engage in marital relations. Until he takes them out or places them in a receptacle within a receptacle. Amar Abaye said, This was not taught except when there was a sacred article in a receptacle that is not the usual receptacle of the sacred item. Aval bichle shehu kilyan, but in the case of a receptacle that is a usual receptacle, afilu asara ma'ane kechad ma'ane dame, even ten receptacles, one inside the other, are like only a single receptacle. <coughs> and a second receptacle is still required. Amarava, Rava said, glima, a cloak, 